So let's talk PDFs, shall we? Let's talk PDFs. Uh, just a quick video, really, which relates to an article that we've written, um, which I will put on the bottom of this video. Um, then the importance of decent PDFs. I can't stress enough that when you're dealing with anybody in Spain, if you are sending them PDFs, they have to be of good quality. Um, the reason being is, um, if you are presenting stuff yourself to immigration or maybe the DGT or whatever, any documents that you send digitally, um, if they're not of good quality, and we always, always suggest, advise, it's got to be in PDF because everybody loves a good PDF, then you've got a, there's a danger of that document being rejected. Now, uh, certain platforms like the Mercurio government platform, uh, Red Sara, the professional platform, have limits on the size of documents that you can upload. So the size is also very important. As we know, size is very important in life. So you have to have for Mercurio less than six megabytes, that we always advise five. Uh, and for Red Sara is, is five, and we always advise four. The reason being is if you start getting close to the the limit, then there's also a danger that that document won't be uploaded properly. Now, if you've got a printer at home, that's brilliant. They have normally got uh, built-in scanners on them. Uh, sometimes you'll find that the scanners will scan in JPEG. Again, it's not normally a problem, but JPEGs are slightly more weighty. You can use websites like I Love PDF, which is a fantastic website. We use it, and if, it, if you're... Um, a, uh, if you're not a professional user, not a business user, then it's free. Okay, so you can use I Love, I Love PDF, uh, check it out, and that basically allows you to convert most file sources, JPEG, JPEG PNG, to PDF, and it also allows you to ma manipulate them on the website as well, which means uh, you can cut them, you can turn them around, you know, etc., etc. You can join them up, and the same website also allows you to um, uh, take PDFs and, and divide them into individual PDFs if needed. So check out the website I Love PDF. If you're having any problems with your file format, turn it to PDF, you can use that. Uh, again, this works if you're using a smartphone to scan. Some advice using a smartphone, make sure that there's no shadows when you're using a smartphone scan app. Uh, again, in the article, we've got some links to some good apps. Uh, make sure there's no shadows, make sure it's square on the document and that you're taking the scan on a white background. So that's the three top tips for scanning with uh, a smartphone app. Evidently, if you can't do it on your smartphone, you don't have a printer at home, then you could go down to your local news agents here in Spain, Librerias. They generally will do scanning for you and then email it to you and put it on the USB stick. In the UK, you can try your library. We have many clients who who scan in the libraries so uh, and they generally offer that service so yeah I think that's all I've got to say on this video it was just a, a, a very 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 quick one on the importance and why it's so frustrating sometimes when we're working and we're asking for copies of documentation and they come through we know we just can't use them and there's nothing we can do from our end to improve them so we have to reject them and ask the client to send them again so it's always a good idea when you're dealing with anybody, whether you're dealing with us or whether you're dealing with someone else who's representing you in Spain or you're dealing with uh, immigration yourself and you're doing everything yourself, always make sure the quality of the documents is good and the best advice I can give you is send them in PDF because everybody likes a good PDF.